field trip time. All right, so this time we are going to the zoo. Now, you may not know this, but some people do not like the zoo. Are you one of those persons who don't like the zoo? Zoos as institutions that house and exhibit a wide range of animals have long been a subject of both admiration and controversy. While they serve as platforms for education, conservation and research, they also raise ethical and welfare concerns. So, let's dive into this adventure and you'll come up with your decision as we go. The Emperor Valley Zoo is located in Port of Spain, the capital city of Trinidad and Tobago. Alright, I'm here at the zoo. First thing I'm seeing is a turtle there. It looks like a rock, but it is a turtle. It is extremely hot. I need something for this heat. <laughs> this should help with the heat. Severe ready to roll? Let's go check out the animals. Emperor Valley Zoo was established in 1952 and is the oldest zoo in the Caribbean. It was named after the nearby Emperor Valley in the northern range of Trinidad. The zoo is very easy to find. It's situated at the top of the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain. This zoo is home to a diverse collection of animals, including various species of mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. Let's go see what animals we can find. We have turtles, fishes, snakes like pythons and anacondas, llamas, zebras, giraffes. We even got to feed Melvin. These two biscuits, $40. So, these giraffes just cost me a gyro. Either you can feed a giraffe or you can eat a gyro by a sense. Giraffe gyro. We also come and wait here for one moment. You wanna go first? Go ahead. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. You did great. So now, same thing. You just bring your hand right up to the playlist and you'll take it gently. Here's your food, sir. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Stand up next in, but just no touch. Mm -hmm. If you want to take a picture, I can feel the breath yeah. from his breathing. Sometimes you little big brother, and then some Tigers, lions, capuchin monkeys, many different types of. Like the loud macaws and the national bird, the beautiful scarlet ibis. Look at that, it's a caiman. The Emperor Valley Zoo has a strong emphasis on education and conservation. It serves as an educational resource for schools and visitors, providing information about the wildlife of Trinidad and Tobago and the broader Caribbean region. One of the aims of the Emperor Valley Zoo is to create naturalistic habitats for its animals, providing them with environments that mimic their natural homes as closely as possible. If you're planning to go to the zoo, it may be a good idea to use sunscreen and walk with an umbrella. It's hot! It's very hot! hot. Yeah, 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 it's hot. The place hot. The place hot. So what are some of the reasons people don't like the zoo? Well, I think people have an issue with the confinement of animals in limited spaces. There's concern about their physical and psychological well-being. And captive animals may experience stress, boredom and health problems due to restricted movements and unnatural environments. And some people argue that confining animals for entertainment purposes can be ethically questionable. 
However, there are some important reasons that zoos exist. Zoos can play a crucial role in conserving endangered species through breeding programs and reintroduction efforts. In some cases, they serve as the last line of defense against extinction by maintaining genetically diverse populations that could help repopulate the wild in the future. Zoos also provide educational opportunities for people of all ages to learn about the diversity of life on Earth. They offer first-hand experiences with animals that many people would otherwise never encounter, fostering a sense of wonder and appreciation for the natural world. Zoos contribute scientific knowledge by conducting research on animal behavior, physiology, and conservation techniques. And sometimes these studies are unable to be done in the wild and can only be done in the controlled environment that the zoo offers. Many people can pinpoint their love of animals from a visit to the zoo. By showcasing animals and their natural habitat, zoos raise awareness about conservation issues, habitat destruction, and the importance of protecting biodiversity. So what do you think? What is your opinion? Do you like zoos? Well, a zoo isn't the only thing we're visiting today. The beautiful botanical gardens. So there's a website called the nationaltrust.tt and I'm going to read some information that they have on it. You may remember the National Trust from our last field trip in Nelson Island. So between 1813 to 1829, perhaps one of the greatest legacy of Trinidad's governor, Sir Ralph Woodford, that name sounds familiar, Ralph Woodford, was his passion to beautify Port of Spain. The town was laid out by him and after all these years we still enjoy open spaces of Independence Square, Woodford Square and particularly the Queen's Park Savannah and the Botanic Gardens. To assist him in achieving his goals, he appointed Mr. David Lockhart as his first curator of the Botanic Gardens. The Botanic Gardens was originally part of a parcel of land purchased by the Cabildo in 1890, comprising the Hollandaise Estate in St. Anne's. Adjacent to the governor's house, the gardens, occupying 38 hectares, were laid out with exotic local plants as well as those imported from Venezuela and other Caribbean islands, under the personal supervision of Governor Woodford and his curator. In 1952, the Emperor Valley Zoo was established on the western end of the gardens. The well-maintained gardens remain one of the most beautiful parks in the Caribbean with its wide variety of trees and flowers and well laid out footpaths. And it's just a really great place for some Sunday afternoon activities. So we have two boys playing football there. We have a, what looks like a birthday party over there. We have some fellas playing cricket over there. We have a group playing cricket over there. We have a picnic there, picnics all over. Is, is a vibe, is a vibe. Is a vibe. The botanical, well, it's not really botanical, but when you say botanical, it's really Royal Botanic Gardens. The Royal Botanic Gardens, the Royal Botanic Gardens is a vibe.